Hello everyone, welcome back to Underleveled. My name is Chris, I appreciate you all being here and for the continued support. Just to let you all know, we're about 100-ish subscribers away from our third giveaway. Not sure what we're giving out yet, but it's going to be something that hopefully all of you will enjoy. So be sure to click like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share the channel to your whole family, and help us get closer to that goal so we can get you guys some more nifty things. Also, if you haven't already, I'm going to link it somewhere, feel free to go check out the Warlock Patron video that I posted a little, little bit ago. It's really cool. I haven't done a really good job promoting it. But I'm going to try to build an Archfey Warlock Patron with all of you lovely people. Something that we could all use together and say that it belongs to all of us. The community, the small, very small community here under leveled. But I'm really excited to develop that further with all of you. With that being said, let's get into the episode. Last time... We continued our journey with our, our, our very interesting little friend here. Um, definitely, definitely not racist. She's definitely not racist. And we found ourselves in a town of dwarves. Copperan, I believe it is called. And our search for, hopefully, uh, some relic that she's looking for. But... All in all, we're still looking for those gems. So this dwarf has agreed to give us access to hopefully where we need to go to get said item. But first, we have to do some busy work, you know, talking to some people around here. So let's get into that. All right. Find the first clue. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to help us. Get good the other side. Oh, look at this. Got something going on here. It's rather silly, really. This young man. Young he man. Me for a specific design so he could propose. So, he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Orion, I asked around. So, hmm. where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty a hmm. whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. All right, nothing, nothing suspicious there. Another look around. I don't see anything around here. Maybe in here? Yeah, here we go. We got two in here. Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Liberty? Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. No, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. Thing. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hmm. Looks like we got a little bit of drama around here. Let's just Mildred. The brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery. So weird to hear dwarves like this. I'm so used to them sounding a certain way, you know. If only the stone fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. I'll Take go help with that ale. Empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Hmm. I don't mind helping with any, uh, ale issues. Go see this gentleman again. It's clearly some sketchy stuff going on around here. Oh. 
Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? Uh. The Synod sent us to talk to you. He did. Unusual. Where are your eyes, Bob? Days. Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hang them, mm. eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. Dang, it's pretty, pretty hardcore. We should go. Right, let's take off. As you're doing business with you, stay in the light. Sounds like maybe Sorax are like sneaking people in, maybe? Disguised as prisoners? There we go. Come on, old squad. <laughs> We're so sketchy. We're so mad. sketchy. Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting and still no meeting no. with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. Yeah, they like do. An old couple, the two of them. An old couple. Right. So we need to go find the sergeant, right? There we go. <clears throat> We're so sketchy. Straight up like stalking people. Well met again. He's always sitting. <laughs> so you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying. So what do you think? The story of the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. Damn. Something is wrong here. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Why are you leaving Things stuff out? Grald and the Baron. The Baron? About the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 Jeez. years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonen. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Oh, sounds like he what is a Rall? Sorak. When you told me of Ral's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Ralds had come back from patrol. You mean why is he just telling this us now? Not who he seems. Suggestion, Sarge. The Synod mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I mm. were you, I wouldn't mention Rose, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Clear skies to you. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get down to business. Mischief afoot. Seems like the, the Sorax are quickly trying to infiltrate any and all societies. Uh, anything to loot over here? A door. Oh. Let's get up here. Oops. Thing over there. All right. Greetings, adventure. The Baron. Sergeant Nikonen says you want to see me on some urgent matter. Yes, it concerns our traveling companion, Lady Cathayla. Cathayla. Then let her speak for herself. My lord. Before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. 
Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms <coughs> left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to Ding. search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone. Dang, man. That as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. Impudence? What a dick. Alright. Wow, but he's a dwarf after all. Uh, where do we need to... For here. But he's a dwarf back. after all. She's How such a dick. <laughs> Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us. Just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh? He's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. Pragmatic? pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee. But it's easier than having to search for himself. Smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is Sting. true, then arresting her or coercing Sting her, her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like Gromnir at all. Fine, mm. what do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow. As envoys of the Legacy Council. All right. He is a nice dwarf. He is a nice Jesus man. This <laughs> take a long rest. All right. Uh, I believe we need to go in here for that. <clears throat> Definitely seems like there's a. There's mischief afoot. Definitely Sorax in this town. But we'll make quick we'll make quick work of them. We have the the all powerful sorcerer on our side, after all. Welcome to the inn. Need a room. Stay for the night. Sure. Get settled. Ten gold pieces. Alright, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't need daylight. Get wind wall. Uh, keep those. Those. Alright. Go to the throne room. Alright, back where we came. Alright, a lot of a lot of walking around. I wish I had my uh my nifty Fitbit here charged. I'd be getting my steps in right now. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I wish there was multiplayer in this game. I have some friends that want to get into Dungeons and Dragons. I feel like this might be a good uh, tool to help them kind of learn the basics. <clears throat> Why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. Credentials? What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaea's claim? Works for the Legacy Council. We're from the Legacy Council. My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The Council would appreciate Copperan's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do hmm. not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. 
Lady Kithayla has agreed to help the council in a delicate Thayla. and vital... I'm just going to call her Kithayla. And what is that? Historical research. Research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential matters are best handled confidentially, my lord. Hmm. Then... Mm. Uh, shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the historical items. Mm. We can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. Now back to your post. Yes, my lord. So weird. I'm so I'm not used to the dwarf sounding like this. Aaron's waiting for you. All right, let's survey the surroundings really quick. Other one. Hey, got a chest. It's not stealing. I know what some of you were thinking. Uh, let's take 34 gold. Actually, let's pick these out really quick. See if anything pops up. Do not communicate outside the family. May at the discretion of the warden. That's a lot. Or stuff. I was thinking, I was trying to see if there are any, like, uh, any prompts or anything that pop up. Not huge on reading, as you all will quickly come to learn. It's the main reason, like, I, I, I like the idea of, like, Pathfinder, uh, Wrath of the Righteous, but man... I tried playing it, and it's like, it's good, like, they got good voice actors in that game, but it's like, at the most, at the weirdest time, the voice acting just stops. And then it's just like, you know, it goes into book reading simulator, and it's like, you know, you know, I didn't come here for that, you know, <laughs> I came here to, here. to play a game this and... So immerse myself in a story kind of takes the immersion now having to like read a novel please in between conversations you know before we inventory your heirlooms there is something i wish to show you oh you god will find it interesting hopefully is that the baron now we shall all have a nice long chat together oh god you will give me that crown Oh, evil dwarves. That's fine. It's fine. I'm going to cast a spell. Use fairy fire on them. Two successes. Dang, man. Dropping the ball. Dropping the ball. Uh, it's fine. Fine. Alright, so you're gonna rage. And... Destroy. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Oh, wow. He's got some health on him. Alright, let's... Haste, Twin Spell, Karen, and Bob. <laughs> Go back here. It's fine. Protect. Good job, Bob. Protecting your homie. Look at that. Look at that. 
These losers. I get to control him too. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. You are a fighter. Uh, all right, we're gonna go up here. And you're gonna go here. And then you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna give him a couple of these. Ah, come on, man! You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Um, I don't want her near like anything. To be to be honest, let's step back and just throw your little your little shadow dagger thing. All right, uh, that didn't do anything. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and turn. Alright, Bob. Stop that. Come on, Bob. Bob. I was gonna action surge, but... Eh, I'll do it. Let's see how many times Bob can miss in one turn. <laughs> Alright, so one, two, three, four misses. Excellent. Good good job, Bob. That's a that's a that's a good job right there. Whew. Alright. How about Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. They got reinforcements coming in. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop the concentration. Alright, we'll go with that. Alright. Come on, Barbarian, chill, pop how it's done. Ooh. That's what you like to see. That's also what you like to see. And I get my third attack, because I'm hasted. There we go. <laughs> yeah, take that damage. Alright, uh... Yep, we're gonna... She can take it, right? She can take it. She can take it. I have faith in her. I have faith in her. And she succeeded. <laughs> there we go. See, I knew she could handle that. She barely took any damage. Oh, dude, this guy. Oh, no. Oh no. Homeboy. You're still standing. You're still standing. Oh, Jesus. Two nat twenties? Oh no. Alright. My dude, you are on your own right now. I need you to come through. The opposite of what I need you to do. All right. Um, I guess cast your little dagger thing. Maybe you'll kill him. Didn't kill him, but you know, better than nothing. All right, Bob's gonna go on in. Come on, Bob. How can he miss this many times? It's astonishing. Okay, there we go. Good lord. 
Alright, you're gonna go for this guy up here, Bob. Alright, uh, let's get disadvantage. Oh, jeez. I didn't even notice that guy. Excuse me, sir. I need you to move. Thank you. And I'm going to go over here. Uh, he's fine for now. <clears throat> there we go. Jeez, man, look at this movement. It's crazy. Little jabroni. Alright. Um crap. Hey, javelin. <clears throat> I it worked. Damn. At least he kept my rage up. Uh oh. Um, has shield. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Get out of there. Twin spell this. Perfect. It'd be decent damage right there. Oh no, my dude. I need you to live. I forgot that they can regenerate health. Nice try, loser. Uh, Alright, um... How's your health? 40 out of 60? You're fine. Dude, come on, bro! Yeah, you do! Jeez, I'm missing so much today. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh man. Right, let's move over there. Alright, Bob, I'm counting on you, bro. There we go. Alright, you should have two more attacks. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm missing so much. <laughs> So much. Another Sorak. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I need that anymore. I really, really want to do this. I, I know it's not the, the smartest choice, but... I really, really want to. But I'll do it to him instead. Go 
go up here and I'll do a little of this and oh crap forgot to switch back no quarter given there we go move right here and end my turn Nice try, loser. Oh, crap. All right, I'm going to go and do it again. They hopefully get better damage. Wait till the next one. Alright, I'd rather you attack me than we keep McGee over there. Bob, you okay? You hit someone. It's a step in the right direction, right? Oh god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, he, he hit. Okay, come on. I'm missing so much. Wow, what a what an interesting start to the to the week. Uh, with this many misses, dude. I I'm sorry. I I'm sure this isn't that entertaining. Okay. Goodness gracious. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Alright. So, let's do... No. How come I can't do it out of range? Oh, yeah, it's gotta be in here. My bad. Um, let's go over here. Dang. That 20 on that. Alright. Thank God for my barbarian. She picks up so much slack. Goodness. She can go all oh, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. MVP man MVP Karen is the best character of my team but San Ray is still my favorite because I'm really digging the sorcerer all right so let's pick up some of this stuff really quick then we'll let homeboy out here Got that that All right, let's just pick this up and uh, let's cancel. Uh, it'll, it'll end. Uh, Bob, Aaron, get your javelins back. Bob, get everything else. And let's let the real Baron out of his cage, and then we'll wrap up this episode. Gromnir, thank Aina, you're safe. Aina. Yes, I am. Thanks to Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. Now, old friend, go see a the team, a -team. With Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I am the Sainard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. But, no buts. 
I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true. Strike true. Awesome, awesome. Got a chest in here. Uh, how many? Eh, it's misty step in here. Loot. Give me loot. Gemstone pendant. Give the javelins to Karen. That to Bob. I got a misty step on out of here. So. With that being said, we are going to wrap up today's episode. We went a little over. That was a pretty intense combat with the Sorax swinging on in to help their buddies. So, thank you all for your support. Thank you for swinging on by, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next one.